By the end of this video, you should be able to put text behind a person or an object in the script storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is the deal. Uh, here's a quick sample of what you should be able to achieve by the end of this video. Now that you've seen the end result, let's create something similar. So I've got this particular composition in the script and uh, what I want us to do is uh, add maybe some form of video that you might be using as your B-roll, ETC, and then add the text. So I'm going to come to the video section here and you can go to the videos to grab uh, some of the videos available here. I'm just looking for face video. This looks good, this looks good. And since I've already downloaded this to avoid wasting a lot of time uh, recreating this uh, tutorial, I'm going to grab this video and add it to this particular scene. And it's available. Uh, it's right there. So we can actually play it slightly. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use It's a lady just in focus and has a good background. So what we now need to do is to add the text behind uh, this lady. But before we do that, we might need to duplicate this particular uh, layer or this particular video. So you can select it and press on Control D to duplicate it. So it's right there. Uh, and you can see the different settings available for this. So depending on what you select, you may not, you may not be sure exactly what you're selecting because it's a funny way the script uh, kind of puts the different layers. So uh, it may be a little bit confusing but let's wait and see what we're going to achieve. So next up, we need to add our text. Let's go to title, click on title, and it's going to give us a based on the results or the text settings we previously had. So I had a bold title, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type text because we just want to see the effect in action. So you see what happens, the text comes down here. So there's a, there's a ton of things here, uh, but hopefully we're going to achieve what we want. Now, from one of our videos here, I'm going to apply the green screen effect uh, because that is what is going to help us achieve what we want. So select one of the videos. I've selected the, the layer above. Although I've mentioned it doesn't conform to anything in uh, the script storyboard. So uh, we go to effects and then click on green screen. Applying green screen to close up, portrait of a beautiful young lady, beautiful Caucasian brunette woman, laughing, slow motion. So we'll give it a couple of seconds to apply the green screen. Uh, and once this circling is done, then we have our green screen applied. So it's been applied to close up. Let's close that. Unfortunately, we don't know uh, on what layer it is, but let's do this. Uh, let's try and select our text, right click, move backward. So it seems it's one of these. Select this one, move backward. So it seems it's somewhere there. So select this one. Let's see. We actually just move it down slightly. Uh, control Z. Let's do this. Let's just minimize the size of one. So we can now see this particular layer. And this is the layer that we need to bring to the front. There we have it. And then the text layer, we need to move forward. And then this particular layer down here, let's select it properly. Should be this one, I believe. Yes, select it and maximize, sorry. Select it, let's actually make sure it's selected and then hold the edge because I want to maximize it to the end. Now, what we now have is the text behind the object uh, kind of effect. So if you play this, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the text to speech feature in CapCut for. So see the effect that we get here is just a lady or the text behind the lady. And you can always see the text. It looks like that. Uh, it's really, really awesome. Uh, but it really depends on what you want to recreate uh, inside the script. I wish there was an easier way of having this layer set up because all we would need to do is just add the layer or put it up here uh, where we want it to be. And that will be done in a second. So that's it from this video. And that is how you can put text behind an object or a person in the script storyboard. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.